Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Well, last time we successfully completed Sabin's scenario, and managed to strip all of their characters naked. Now there's only one final scenario left to go. It's been a while since we've heard from Locke. Let's see how he's doing. Stymie the efforts. Is stymie a word? I'm sure it is. So he's been doing well, but apparently he needs to escape. Woo! He hid. Successfully. Hey, ooh, man. They're even cursing in the game now. Dang. Gotta get to Narsh on the fly. But if you talk to the soldier, he was running from the soldier, but apparently he doesn't care that you can just talk to him. Eh, just like that. Hey, Duncan's house. Oh. Feel a draft. Well, I believe we did that earlier, didn't we? But there's a save point down there if you need it. I don't really think you need it, but if you need it, it's there. Okay. Now let's go this way, and... Oh, there's another Imperial Trooper. Let's talk to him. Uh, nothing? Uh-oh. Alright. Looks like we have to go up against a heavy armor. Fair enough. You know what? Oh, I, oh my goodness. I forgot to equip lock. But anyways, uh, you can't really win this battle, so just run away. Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> Crap, got my ass handed to me. Um, I think if you run out into zero hit points, you're automatically just kicked back into this general area. So don't even worry about it. Uh, if you happen to run out of hit points, it's certainly not that big of a deal. Okay. But yeah, that did not go so well. So let's get some equipment going on my characters here. And we want to give them the Genji Glove and... What else do we want to give them? Uh, Gigas Glove, that works. Okay, so, now we can double our attack power, which is fine. It'll be it'll be enough for what we need in this area. And let's give ourselves a couple potions to, to recover there. I Believe me, I have plenty of potions. And are we back? Are we in the back row? We are. Okay, very good. All right. Um, let's see what's going on here. And go over talk to this guy. Oh, some cider. Wasn't there a guy in South Figaro that was going to bring some cider to a guy? The first time we were here, I can't quite remember. Oh, that's cool. Hey, oh. Well, I'm a treasure hunter. Does that count? Or uh, an adventurer. Does that count? I buy and sell weapons and armor and items. Does that count? Hmm, I guess not. Okay, let's just go to the item shop here. Oh, yeah. I remember them. And if you need to equip, if you need to buy some stuff, you can. I'm all good to go. Hey, let's talk to this guy. Hey, I'm a treasure hunter. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, so I guess we're gonna attack him now. Fine. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to steal from him. Being a merchant, I'm sure he has good stuff. Ooh, a plumed hat. Hey, we took his clothes. We stripped him naked. <laughs> Uh, all right. And then we left him in his birthday suit. <laughs> but fortunately, he had his drawers on. Why do they call it a birthday suit, anyways? <laughs> but now, all of a sudden, we have some merchant clothes, even though in the graphic there, his sprite had... Nuts. His sprite had uh, uh, merchant clothes on there, which I don't quite understand. Okay, but now that we're a merchant, we can head down here, and we can now bypass this guy. Whew. First part of the area taken care of, and we get a potion, cool. That'll probably be the only chest that I take something from. Uh, the rest of the chest I'm still not going to take anything from, but okay, very, 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 very good. All right. I don't believe they've changed the weapons or armor here. Oh, I see. I remember the, those low-ranking grunts. <laughs> yeah, they're, not, they're certainly not giving you a hint on what to do. Yeah, and if you need to buy any equipment here, you can. I don't really need to, because I bought all the good stuff in Nikea earlier. Okay, very good. Now, if you have high enough levels and you want to beat up the heavy armor to pass by, you can do that. 
but I'm certainly not going to do that. Yeah, unfortunately, we're kind of stuck here because the rest of the soldiers are guarding stuff. Don't talk to that guy in the Magitek suit. It's another heavy armor, and he'll try to kill you. Let's go up this way. And we bypass that soldier. We go here. And, ooh, there's one of those green guys we were talking about earlier. And apparently he wants to fight us. Alright. So just like before, steal from him. Nuts. And just like with other... With other, uh... Ugh, with other times you try to steal with locks, sometimes it won't work. Even with merchant... You'd think him being a merchant would increase his stealing capabilities. Ugh, okay, if it doesn't work one more time, I'll just do it off screen. Usually it doesn't take me this long. But, oh well. Try again. Got it. There we go. And we just stole his clothes. Here we go! <laughs> he's even a rhymer. How good of a thief is Locke that he's even able to steal clothes? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Treasure hunter. Treasure hunter. Oh, I can't say thief, or otherwise I'll get attacked there. Can't have that. All right. Now, let's go see if we can talk to uh, some of these guys down here. All right. Very good. So that guy leaves. Narsh, man, we really do need to get there. Now, fortunately, he won't attack us if we're wearing... If we're wearing uh, this suit, so that's good. Okay. And, unfortunately, the Chocobo Stable is being blocked. That's no good. And we can't go to the south. Hey, hey, just relax there, pal. Alright, well, let's see what's going on here. A lot of Imperial soldiers. Famous Lady General? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that's certainly not a clue. Okay. Oh, very cool. Very nice. No, come back here. I want to talk to you, please. Yep. Well, I guess we can't talk to that guy. Oh, well. Uh, okay. Now, do we want to... Let's see. Is there anything else we can do here? Uh, let's see. Yeah. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. There, there might be some more people we can talk to. Let's see. There's the inn if you need to rest up, but I'm much, I, if I need to heal up, I'm just going to use potions. Because I have so many potions that... And believe me, potions are actually not that useful in this game. 80 gil? Not a chance there, pal. Oh. Guess I'm out of luck. Yeah, so if you want, you can fight that guy and... Uh, steal from him, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Okay, and you can go down and get some relics if you want, but I don't need any relics. I'm all good to go. So, to advance, let's go down this way. And you might remember this guy from before. Yeah, I did. Did he just try to call me a thief? I don't know. But let's definitely steal from him one more time. Ugh. Because as you remember... Because as you remember, uh, unless you're wearing merchant's clothes, um, that kid won't let you pass. So definitely want to be back in merchant's clothes. Very good. Thank you. Very nice. And we got the cider. Very nice. Anything we can get down here? Nope. All right. So let's go back to the old man now and give him the cider and see what he has to say. Now, you have to do that. Well, I'll talk about that one in just a minute when we get there. Basically, we just want to go back the way we came. And unfortunately, that guy is still not guarding his post, so we just walk back this way. Yeah, unfortunately, Imperial... Well, actually, fortunately for us, Imperial troopers are really stupid. Okay, very good. Yep, sure are. And let's give him the cider. Oh, very nice. Hey. Oh, crap. He forgot the password. Well, that's just great. Let's go down here. And I'm going to take this opportunity to save a state. Let's do that. 
Let's talk to this guy. Uh, what is the password? Rosebud, even. Uh oh. Whoa! What the hell did that kid do? Ha ha ha! Dude, that kid kicked our ass! Yeah, so basically, if you lose a battle, you have to start all over again. So let's load that save state, and I'll just tell you, the password is courage. And so he'll show us the secret passage. Very nice. Ooh, secret entrance there. Very nice. That is cool. And if you take it, and go down here, yeah, we can travel underneath and bypass that soldier right there that was guarding the, the big mansion. And now we end up here in this room. Now, if you were here from South Figaro the first time, you could actually take this passage and end up back in that old man's house. Um, but I don't really want to do that. So, now we end up here. Hey, why'd the music stop? Oh. Well, I don't like that at all. Our inside informant? Who's the inside informant? Let's take a look around, see what we can find. Oh, I see. Now, if you listen very carefully, you can hear kind of a rustling, a winding sound. A wind sound, I should say. Not a winding sound, but a wind sound. And we'll go over there in just a second. <laughs> Dude, their kids are excited. Apparently, he's Magitek armor. Wind the clock. Rind, wind the clock. Now, remember that. We're actually going to need that information here in just a minute. Now, you may recall earlier that we went down a secret area here in a, in a place uh, where we found a room with a draft. Now, I don't think you're supposed to do that uh, the first time we came to South Figaro, but I take full advantage of it. We go down here. Now we're back in this area again. Um, do we want to remove this guy's now? These clothes are fine. Okay, let's take a look around and see what we can find. Oh, why did I stop? Wait, an Empire's General? What do, what do you mean what happens to her? She's just, what are they going to do to her? Let's see, a magic ignite four by the Empire and tempered in battle. They've never known the woman beneath the General's guise. Wow. And this is Celeste. One of the most influential characters in the game. We'll go over that here in a bit. By the way, in the original Final Fantasy game, the the uh, the soldiers would be punching her right now, and would be, you know, beating her up right now. I guess they, in the translation, uh, or in the new version of this game, they felt that it wasn't cool to beat up women. Whoa! Yeah, I know. We were already there. Oh man, they're gonna execute her. Oh, so apparently this guy can go for days without sleep. But yeah, in the in the original version, they're they're beating her up, and then she'd fall on the ground, just like that. So I guess she's being chained like that. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Locke went. <laughs> yeah, of course he just left right up there. Whew! All right, let's make sure that she's okay. I guess let's go in here. Let's talk to this guy. <laughs> and apparently he's sleeping. That's just great. Uh, I'll just keep looking, checking her out, make sure everything's cool. Now we want to remove her bindings there. All right. <laughs> yeah, so. And if you come in in an Imperial suit, um, she says to him, aren't you a little short to be an Imperial trooper? And if you say nothing, uh, basically, uh, she just says, who are you? So that's kind of cool. Just get that. I like that little extra dialogue. Yeah, of course. Why not? Yeah, you'll be fine. You're walking just fine. It's all good. I can protect you. I have. I know plenty of good friends. Man, she wants to die. Man, what is it? Locke and his obsession with protecting girls. He said the same thing about Tara. Ooh, and a little wink there. All right, let's go. Are you backing out again, Celeste? Oh, that's a good point. Well, let's talk to him. Woo! Ah, but stealing is wrong. I'm not a thief. I'm a treasure hunter. Ooh, but I guess a clock key could be a treasure. Uh-oh! 
Time to fight him! Huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, I love how Imperial soldiers are so stupid. But this is Celeste, and she's a rune knight, apparently. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, well, let's put Celeste in the back row immediately. Now let's give her some equipment. Now, fortunately, we picked up the iron armor and the rune blade and mithril shield and all that good stuff uh, back in Sabin Scenario. So that's one of the reasons that I like to do Sabin Scenario first, so we can get some good equipment for Celeste. Because we're going to need her abilities here in just a little bit. And there's a save point if you need it. And if you want to use a tent and rest up, you can do that. Okay, now you may remember we got some chests here. If we go here, the clock is ticking. Now you may re Ooh, the clock is ticking. That's not good. But you may recall if you go up here that there was a clock that wasn't ticking. But now that we have a clock key, haha, -ha, we can do that and open up this area. Cool. All right, and now we need to escape out of here with Celeste. But can we successfully make it out of here alive and escape the Executioner? You'll have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP, check out my blog, check out my donations page, and as always, take care, y'all.